Thank you. Uh, my name is Patrick Bruni, and I am a senior uh, learning team member with Toby Dynavox. And so I'm really excited to be here today to talk about some of the supports, both communication and uh, computer access that we have on the iOS platform. And that is fairly new for us. So we're excited about that. Um, and very first here, to introduce is our SC Tablet Mini. And let's see, I can't see my camera, so I don't know if you guys can see that or not there um, with this. I'm not sure if that's still on, but I just got my SC Tablet Mini in the mail, and um, it is fantastic. We talk about it being por portable, durable, and made for AAC, and that is what it is. I was just charging it up. Um, as I took it out of the box, and it is fantastic, really a nice device. So I'd like to go over that today. And some of the groups of communicators that we think would be particularly uh, would benefit from something so small and portable. So we were thinking that children who need simple support, the uh, iOS platform, the iPad mini here, we can run the TD Snap software. So great for those symbol based kids. TD Snap has quite a few different uh, symbol based page sets available. So you can choose that one that uh, fits your needs the best. We're also thinking of individuals with aphasia. We have the aphasia page set as part of our TD Snap software. And so we're really excited about providing this for that group as well. And then also our TD Talk software. We're going to talk about that a little bit more because it's relatively new. Um, and that is our newest communication software for the iOS platform. And so it runs right here on our um, SC Tablet Mini. And it's great for those literate adults. It really was developed for that population. And just so you can see, here is the TD Snap, the core first page set, and it really works great as you go up in grid size. I have a seven by seven on my device right here, and I think it's just still really great. The SC Mini is really developed for touch users. And so even with the seven by seven grid, lots of ability for nice access with the device. And then the aphasia page set. What a great page set right here on this SC mini tablet as well. Just such a good um, platform for all the different communication tools from grid displays to visual scene displays, the different tools that are part of this page set from the whiteboard to even using the rating scales, all of that really good real estate, just good real estate right on this device that allows you for good access. And then here is a screenshot of it with the TD Talk software for literate individuals, really thinking of those individuals who might need touch now, but uh, maybe eventually transitioning to uh, an eye gaze device, such as the TD Pilot, um, which we'll talk about today too, as one of our iOS platform options. So the SE Tablet Mini is lightweight, portable, the loudspeakers, um, all features and functions that are important to all communicators. So I want to take just a few minutes and dive into some of the specifications of this system so that you can see, um, at least on paper, and then hear how really easy it is and portable and light, already durable. I am on carpeting, but I did knock it off of my table just before we started. And it has a drop test from over five feet. So I was very pleased uh, that no issues with that at all. But the display is 8.3 inches. Even while it's in the case. Now the iPad mini weighs 0.6 pounds. And when it's in this rugged case, it comes to still under two pounds. The protective case, like I said, from experience, lots of nice durability. It's really nice. Uh, you know, hard rubber cases um, around the corners. The iPad mini is um, inside this and very durable, 
easy uh, to protect the device. There is access to the front camera and also to the power and fingerprint recognition. All of those have little cutouts within the, from the protective case. So you can utilize all of those fantastic features of this iPad mini. When we think about the backside of the case, just so you see what's there, um, there we have the access to the rear facing camera. So a real nice cutout there to uh, utilize that camera. Um, the speakers, just fantastic. Um, I was playing around with that as well. And the speakers really nice and loud. They, the protective case, these speakers are charged separately from the iPad, so it does not drain from any of the use of the iPad mini. And lots of handles, really, to make it portable. Um, you can use the shoulder strap. We have little indentations right here, as well as the scoop handle, which is just fantastic. So it's really nice um, how that works and easy to carry, no extra anything, keeping the device very slick and very slim line. And then a great kickstand integrated, very um, durable and lots of positions to use. Even pretty good for a handle if you're needing such a thing. But the kickstand is really, really nice as well. So the SC Tablet Mini becomes uh, one of the uh, part of the family of our SC um, Speech Case, our TD Speech Case family. So we have the SC Tablet which uses an iPad, that's gonna be a 10.2 inch screen. And then the SC Tablet Mini, which is an 8.3 inch screen. Now the Mini is really geared for touch users. It does not have a mount. It does not use any of those features. So it keeps things nice and light. But if you're needing something mounted and maybe a larger a screen display, just slightly larger, the SC Tablet gives us scanning options, able to be mounted, more access options as well. So the TD speech case, this family from the SC Tablet and the SC Tablet Mini really do provide you the option of this platform, of the iOS platform, if that's what you're needing to support what's happening in your school, at home. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to develop this is just to make sure we're providing everyone a platform that supports their needs. Now, if you um, do not need the iPad, um, that you source them uh, somewhere else and in a different way, then we can just move the notes out of here. Um, we can just you can just purchase the TD speech case mini and the TD speech case for the iPad. That you'll want to reach out to your solutions consultant to make sure that you are getting uh, the accessory such as the speech case or the complete communication device, um, and they can help you make sure you're finding what you need. At the end here, I'll show you where our learning hub is, and also from our website where you can find the solution consultant in your area to help you with any of those questions. Um, and then also on our learning hub, lots more information. We have a live calendar where we run webinars on the speech, the TD uh, speech case mini, TD Mini and then also this, this iPad-based device. Okay, and as we keep moving forward, we'd really like to talk about the TD Pilot. This was actually launched uh, just about a year ago. So we are very excited about how this has worked over the last year and the success we've had with supporting communication. This again, the TD Pilot provides communication and access to the iPad OS environment through iGaze. Just like with the TD Mini, Speech Case Mini, we talk about, we believe that being able to communicate on a platform that is familiar to you 
when we're talking about AAC solutions is one of the most important things we can do. We really want to provide a digital ecosystem that supports your needs. So you're not learning new, new, new all the time. So the TD pilot, it's being able to access the iPad OS environment through iGaze. Let me just play a quick little video of the TD pilot. Let's go. And now let's look at some of the specifications of the TD pilot here. So this has a 12.9 inch display. Oops. It has access, a cutout here in the protective case. The protective case is we call the TD pilot base. So the base has um, access to the front facing camera for that perfect selfie. Um, right there that they can utilize. So this protective case provides um, lots of support. The device is embedded into the case. In the case, you have the Toby Dynavox eye tracker, and um, which was made for iPad OS. And this is something that was new to me when this was being developed. So the DD, TD Pilot is MFI certified. And that means it was made for iPad, certified as a accessory for the iPad. It means that it, the eye tracking is provides native integration into the iPad OS platform has been certified to meet Apple performance standards. And what's exciting about this is as the technology advances, advances with the Apple software and so on, so will uh, that be updated for the eye tracker as well. We won't get left behind. So that's really exciting. The device weighs at just 4.4 pounds. And we've been finding that customers are using are having an up to 10 hour battery life. What's really nice about this is there's just one power cord that plugs into the device and charges both the pilot base and the iPad at the same time. Now, both have their own power source, so they do not drain from one, one or one or each other. So that has allowed this great battery life. Now, what I'd really like to talk about, oh, let me just show the back here. The most important thing, I think, is, of course, the rear-facing camera. They have access to that, which has been great um, for turning that on and even using as the flashlight, like we do on our phones. So that is available just like on our other, when we have an iPad or phone. It has the partner window, which is fantastic for better face-to-face -face communication. Um, here's the power button, the track status button connected mounting plate, speakers, which are fantastic to make sure you're heard in every situation, and the adjustable stand. TD Snap and TD Talk both come with the device. And then we have the TD Copilot, which is our, system, our software that allows you to do the calibration and any of those settings to customize the calibration for your needs. Our software has something called this region-based interaction, and you don't, even under, you don't even see that this is happening. It's when we, in our communication software, we program or assign larger target areas or buttons, and it allows for your gaze to be read anywhere within this target area. So it's great because it really helps with efficiency and access. But this is different, and when... Um, Oops, when you leave that world of that region-based and 
uh, interaction within our software, you're going to have this new way of accessing all those apps that are on the iPad. And that's called assistive touch. Assistive touch is an option within the iOS setting menu. It's been there on our iPhones and iPads for many years, but it's this assistive touch. It's this um, software that we're going to be using that we use through Apple to be able to use our eye tracking to support access to everything that's within the iPad. Assistive Touch is an Apple product and the menu and setting options will be updated regularly by Apple. And again, since we're made for iPad certified, our eye tracking is not gonna get left behind. They're more and more aware of the needs that we need within that assistive touch menu to make eye tracking even better. I wanna just play this real quick video and then we're gonna jump to questions here that shows this experience with assistive touch because it really is a new way to access the iPad. You'll see a dot called the pointer following your gaze on screen. This pointer gives you a visual confirmation of where you're looking at all times. If you're not familiar with assistive touch, it's an iPad OS feature that allows for alternative access, such as eye tracking, to control their hardware and software. You'll notice a difference in the way eye tracking works in TD Talk and the iPad OS environments. Toby Dynavox's partnership with Apple has allowed us to optimize the eye tracking experience within TD Talk on TD Pilot. To select an app, hold your gaze on it until the animation completes around the pointer. Apple calls this a tap, and it's the default action the pointer performs. If you want to use a different tool, select the Assistive Touch menu button to see your options. For example, you can select Scroll, choose the direction, then hold your gaze on screen to complete the scroll action. You can move the assistive touch menu wherever you want on screen. Just select the menu button, choose move menu, and use your eyes to place it in a new location, depending on what you need to access on your screen. So that assistive touch menu can be modified and you can put all those tools, everything that we do with our iPads right now, we can do that with our eyes through that menu. So with this iOS-based iOS -based communication system, communication device, this iPad-based device. In our Toby Dynavox portfolio, we really believe that providing more options are better so that our customers, that the AAC communicators can find what they need to best support their communication. All right, we are done. We talked about it being fast and quick. Um, Sam